Don't tell me you're here for the interview because what is a disabled man like you doing here? Ma, I'm not disabled. I'm just someone with special needs. <laughs> I can't believe you people have given it a very glorified name already. Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Natasha. You asked for me? Yes, today's the D-Day, right? Yes, sir. Are all the interviews present? Yes, sir. The last time I checked. Okay, so why I called you here is that I'll need you to prep them and go ahead with the interview process. I won't be available because I'm busy sending some documents. Oh, okay, sir. That's fine. Um, one more thing. Um, we also got information that the CEO will be visiting our branch today. So please um, be on the lookout for him and make sure to treat him nice once he comes. Okay, sir, but sir, I don't know what the CEO looks like. Uh, well, we also don't know what he looks like, but um, we're told he loves to keep a low profile, so you can look out for that also. All right, sir. Uh, that'll be all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Yes, uh, you both are here for the interview, right? Yes, ma. All right, what's your name? Fiona. And you? Gary. All right, you both are welcome to this organization. So I'll be giving you this to go through the interview brief. Have this. And um, after that, I'll need you people to come into my office one after the other okay. for the proper interview. All right, ma'am. That'll be all for now. I'll see you later. Who are you and what do you want? Wait. Don't tell me you're here for the interview because what is a disabled man like you doing here? Ma, I'm not disabled. I'm just someone with special needs. <laughs> I can't believe you people have given it a very glorified name already. Special needs. Well, I really don't know what you're looking for, but this is not a charity home and we don't entertain disabled people like you. Madam, I'm also here for the interview. You're here for this interview? Yes. Oh, I see. All right. Excuse me, madam. I can see there are papers with them. Um, please, where's mine? You want yours? You can have it. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Fiona, right? Yes. I see you're acting all nice. You think doing all this will get you the job? Or you think that will make you look like the best for this interview? You're helping a disabled man. Why not just focus on what you're here for? Or don't you have your wrist to run? Sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Congratulations, Mr. Gary. Thank you very much, Ma. I believe you're going to get the job. Thank you. I'm going to trust you on this. Um, on your way out, can you tell the other lady to please come in? Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Miss Fiona, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm. You're the one who was trying to help the disabled man. I believe they are not called disabled. They are called people with special needs. <laughs> people with special needs. I see. 
You already sent your CV to the company's mail, so I'll just go through it. Oh, all right, ma'am. I see. So this is the reason why you were acting all nice. You have all the qualifications we need and you went to the best school. Hmm. But it's so unfortunate. Let me just announce it to you that you won't be getting this job. But why, Ma? Because for you to get a job in this organization, you have to make me happy. I have to be happy with you. I don't think your personal feelings should determine the criteria for getting a job in this organization. <laughs> well, you see, in this case, my feeling is what determines if you're going to get a job in this company or not. Yeah. And the nonsense you displayed earlier with the disabled man is not something that I like. Ma, actually, at this point, I don't care if I get the job or not. What really matters to me is my conscience. I won't sit back and watch somebody be disrespected just because of their physical situation. I mean, we all have our physical situations. <laughs> oh, so now you accept the fact that he has a physical situation. Anyways, Miss Fiona, like I said, you won't be getting this job. But just for formality's sake, we will get back to you. <laughs> when I obviously know we will not. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. I appreciate the opportunity. Ah, you're welcome. And please send in the disabled man. Oh, sorry. The half man. You're welcome. I would have asked you to sit, but you're already sitting on a wheelchair. What is your name? I'm Dave. Dave. So can I have your CV? Uh, it's not here in papers. Can I send it to your mail? Sure. The mail is natasha334 at gmail.com natasha334 at gmail.com I've sent it. Good. Wow. Your CV looks pretty impressive. You've worked at Jamison and Jane. Yes. Huh. That's nice. But I'm sure you do know you can't work in this company because you're disabled. But that's fine. Let me keep going through your CV. You've worked at Mark and Luke and you worked for six years. Yes. Wait, wait. I think there's an error in this CV. And what's the error? It says here you're the CEO of Dave Tires Limited. Well, if it says so in my CV, then it is. That can't be. Because this company is Dave Tires Limited. 
Well, I am. You're obviously lying. Exactly. I could be lying. Well, you know what? You can call your superior to confirm. Hello, sir. Sir, there's a man on the wheelchair here and he's claiming to be the CEO. My God, sir, please, can you, can you just come over to my office? Sir, sir please, just, just come. Sir, sir, please. Sir, please, I am very sorry. I never knew you were the CEO and I didn't know you were going to be coming here on, on a wheelchair. Good morning, sir. I thought you were going to come to my office immediately. I didn't know you were going to come here directly. Well, I was coming straight to your office when I met the HR at the reception. She treated me like nobody. I decided to come because of the interview that was going to be held today. So I decided to use the opportunity and also to discover why the branch hasn't been making more sales. But I can tell you for the fact that I think I found the reason. Because the HR who is supposed to employ capable hands is only employing people who impress that personally. Sir, please. I am, I am so sorry. I'm not always like this. It only happened today. Please, sir. It's okay. I'm not going to do anything to you. Except I will let you go. And I will make sure I blacklist you. So that you won't get employed anyway. Sir, no, please. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. You know what? The lady that was nice to me at the reception, what's her name? Fiona. Do you have a CV? Yes, sir. And you have a contact? Yes, sir. Please, please a call through. Okay, sir. Yes, please, the lady that just left my office, can you stop her? Tell her to come back, please. Yes, yes, immediately. Miss Fiona, I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself properly. My name is Dave, and I'm the CEO of this company. What? Is this true? Oh, yes, it is true. Yes. Miss Fiona, as of today, I will make you the HR of this company. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Yes. It's someone like you. I need in this branch. Natasha, I want you to clear your decks and leave. You are lucky we are only firing you. If not, I would have handed you over to the authorities. Because you wanted to give my company a bad name. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. John? Yes, sir. Please, let's go to your office. I think I'm done here. Of course, you've done a lot. Miss Fiona? You can join us at the office while Miss Natasha clear decks. Okay, sir. 